So we'll continue from the previous video and in this video we'll take a look at how the depreciation tax shield uh, plays a role in our computations. So to see this uh, we will compute the income without or before depreciation that is your revenue of 40,000 minus just the property taxes plus the miscellaneous expenses. Uh, um, so you have an income of 36,000 before depreciation and the tax before depreciation is this income times 30 percent and that's 10,800 and your net income is the difference between the two which is 25,200 now to get the cash flow we need to add back the depreciation tax shield so we'll compute that now now the depreciation tax shield is the tax you are avoiding because of this depreciation expense. So that would be um, the depreciation expense times the tax rate. So if you did not have this depreciation expense, you'd pay a 30% tax on this 20,000. So you're avoiding that because of the depreciation and that amount is your depreciation tax shield, which is $6,000. So to compute your cash flow, you need to add back to your net income, the depreciation tax shield and now you will get the same cash flow that you did earlier. And just to understand this a little bit further, if you look at the tax before depreciation, then uh, if you want to compute the tax after depreciation, then again, you need to really um, subtract from this, the depreciation tax shield, because if you remember all of these taxes, you're avoiding paying $6,000 of taxes because you're allowed to show a depreciation of $20,000. So the actual tax that you're paying is really this 10,800 minus the 6,000, which is your 4,800, which again, you can see is identical to this figure here. So that is the role played by this depreciation tax shield.